This is amazing. What if you can integrate GPT-4 vision in Langchain? What if you can continuously generate image and analyze those image in a more simple way? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about GPT-4 Vision API in Langchain. Not only that, we are going to continuously take images from our webcam and ask GPT-4 Vision to analyze. I'm going to take you through step-by-step -step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence in my YouTube channel. So do subscribe, click the like button and stay tuned. Coming to Langchain, it gives us easy to use tools to talk to all these APIs. As a first step, activate your virtual environment by Conda Activate Langchain and click Enter. Next, pip install Langchain and OpenAI and click Enter. Next, export your OpenAI API key like this and click Enter. Now create a file and open it. Inside the file, from Langchain.ChatModels, import chat OpenAI. Next, from Langchain.Schema.Messages, import human message and system message. Next, chat equals chat OpenAI and you're providing the model name that is GPT-4 vision and the max tokens. Next, your chat invoke and you're providing a human message. The type is text and the text is what is this image showing and we are providing an image URL. This is a multi-modal API so you can even send text and also you can send image. So what this image is about, it's about the architecture of Langchain. Now we're going to feed this in Vision API and ask it to analyze. Next, we need to print this response. To do that, I'm going to just mention output and print output. Then now going into your terminal, Python vision.py and click enter. Now we got the answer here. The image appears to be a diagram or a graphical representation of a software architecture or framework. That is correct. What if we can take this one step forward by providing images from your webcam to this function continuously every two seconds so that it can analyze what it see in the webcam. As a first step, we're going to install OpenCV Python headless and click enter. In this, we are going to import CV2. Next, we're going to import time and import base64. CV2 is for webcam capture. Time is to capture every two seconds. Base64 format is the accepted format to convert your webcam image and send it to OpenAPI. Now we need to define an encode function. This encode function will automatically converts your webcam image into base64 format. Now we need to capture with CV2. Here I'm providing number two, but in your case, it might be zero or one based on the number of cameras you have. Next, we are looping through this so that instead of analyzing only one time, this while loop will keep on running till we stop the program so that it can continuously take your webcam image and analyze what it's all about. Next, we are reading the captured image. If it can't read, it'll print a statement, fail to grab frame. Next, we are providing a file name. It's going to save in image.png. It's going to save it in the same folder. Next, we are going to convert this image.png to base64 image. Only after it's converted to base64, it's ready to send it to OpenAI. Now, instead of image URL, we are going to input the base64 here. So I'm going to delete this and provide the base64 image. And we are providing time to sleep for two seconds. At the end, we are releasing our webcam and also destroy all windows to stop all windows. That's it. So as a quick summary, we are capturing the image every two seconds and saving it in image.png file. Then we are converting that to base64 image, then passing that base64 image to our chat.invoke function here in image URL. I'm going to slightly modify the prompt. I'm going to say narrate in one line, don't repeat, focus on details. That's it, now we're gonna run this code. Python vision.py and click enter. Now it's capturing image from my webcam. A person is sitting in a well-lit room with pink ambient lighting, facing a camera with a keyboard and potted plant on the left and white door in the background. And it can continuously analyze this webcam image and provide you answer. So I'm going to cancel this for now. That's it. With the help of Langchain, we are able to simplify this whole process of continuously capturing and analyzing the data in just few lines of code. I'm going to put all the information in the description below so you can try that. I'm going to create more videos in regards to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.